Raid Shadow Legends, I'm here with a quick video that Pectoris asked me to make actually a couple days ago. I'm a little bit late. Um, he said, do you have a video for what stage to farm up fodder and which stage is more experience energy efficient? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video here and then I'm glad I did it. I, I tested the information that is on Reddit already. There's a chart which I'm going to show you and then I'm going to leave a description to it. So re you really don't need me, but do listen to this really quick that the... It's a good thing I ran it because it didn't say anywhere on the Reddit post, was it double XP or not? Did it have, like it's running campaign, so did it have the additional 20% uh, monthly pass for the additional 20% additional experience in coin? And it doesn't. All it has is double XP though. So when you're looking at that, if you're not running double XP, those numbers will be cut in half. 17,600 is what he just got for running that. Um, that is by himself on, let's go to the image of this chart. Brutal. Now, Brutal is over here on the far right. This is the chart from Reddit. If you look over here on the far right and go all the way down, you see map 7, 6, 10, 12. 12 stage 6 is what we just did. That gave us 17,600. So all the numbers you see on this chart are for one individual running with it. If you're running 3 divided by 3, that's what they'll all get. And um, it is with double XP. Double XP only. Because that's the only thing I'm running right now is double XP. And that's the number you just saw. Also, I'm going to ba run back here. Uh, we are running... Minotaur and we're gonna go Minotaur 15 so if you're running your guys through campaign of course campaign is the most energy efficient for experience to make fodder so always run campaign do the highest you can do don't feel bad if you're doing a lower campaign like if you're doing stage 12 because you're having problem uh, stage 11 because you're having problem with stage 12 that's fine there's no problem with doing stage 11 the difference in XP isn't much at all I'm gonna go over to it really quick here is stage here is um, Brutal and stage map 11 right here. So 11, even at six, stage six, which I was 17,344 versus 17,600. It is so small, it doesn't, if you can do 11, that's fine. You see here 10, it does drop down to 15,000, but it's not, you know, you, you just do what you can, you do the best you can. But if you're gonna farm just one individual and you know you're gonna have to get their masteries too, well, when they're coming up, you might as well just throw them Throw them in here with Minotaur 15 if you can. If you have four people that can carry, um, then just bring them in here because you're going to be using the energy anyways. So bring them in here to get some levels. That way you're just not using, you know, don't bring them in here max level. There's no really any reason for that. Bring them in here at 55 or whatever you have them at. That way they can get some, you know, free levels because you're going to be spending this energy anyways in Minotaur. And then after this, I'm going to jump over to Dragon's 20 and see if we can carry one two star and see what the experience is like if it's high because it's a new dungeon it wasn't i don't think it's high <laughs> it doesn't feel high so 4152 was what we got there let me check 4152 for one champion that's a big difference from between 17,000 over on campaign so it is a real big difference the coin here the silver we got was 7420 as you can see and that is it so we're going to go over to dragons 20 we're going to bring in um this two star you see here the one we've been bringing around with us and he's going to get a free ride to see what dragon's 20 is like and he's really weak he's probably crapping his pants right now but he will probably <laughs> he'll probably die very shortly but i'm going to skip around a little bit let's not make this video longer than it needs to be we will go toward the end as you can see i'm, I'm handling these waves pretty good wave two is kind of the same same stuff so we handle them up we, we get them down and we're on to the dragon so Let's go to the end here. The dragon inhales, exhales, whatever. We've got dots, we've got DPS on them, and it is over with. So we have a total of 5,782. Though we did get an artifact and we did get 11K coins. So it's not a lot of experience, but again, if you're gonna run this overnight with four really strong people, or if you're gonna run this like 100 times in a row, yeah, you could throw somebody in there. I mean, the time I ran this was still three minutes and 44 seconds. It's not bad. Depends on your team. Depends on what you're doing. But as always, the best place to farm is campaign. The campaign experience is insane. It is a lot. So if you can make it to brutal, if you're on hard, the difference between hard and brutal, as you see here, you get state uh, map 12. You get 11,600 or 800 versus 17,000. So there is a big difference between hard and brutal, but when you're coming up and that's all you can farm, then you farm it, you do it. You get in there and campaign, you farm as much as you can, you make those six stars, you get them stronger, and then before you know it, 
you're farming brutal and besides brutal you only bring in somebody else with you if you're just leveling them up anyways if you're going to level them up especially for masteries bring them in a minotaur get them some free levels because you're going to use that energy anyways to get their masteries maxed out and then if you want to if you're doing dragons 20 and you can carry then you could always bring somebody in there as well but that's all i have i'm going to put the link in the description below You'll be able to go to the Reddit post and pull up this um, chart on your own. You'll be able to save it and look through it. But I hope you all have a great day.